Hello everyone. Today I am going to discuss about drawing histogram for ungrouped data. So this is the ungrouped data for which I am going to draw an histogram. So I have written all this. It's a question. So now click on click on data. Click data. There will be an icon here. Data analysis. Mostly in most of the systems, it that icon won't be there actually. So to get that icon, you have to come to this and right click over here. Click on quick customize quick access toolbar. In this, you are having uh, add ins. Click that add ins. Click on analysis tool pack. Click on go. Then. Because it is already there, I have clicked here uh, analysis tool pack and analysis tool pack VBA. Click on OK. After that only this, this uh, data analysis will come. Otherwise, you won't be uh, getting this. So, when you click on data, you have to click data analysis over here. In data analysis, analysis tools there are ANOVA, correlation, covariance you, because the question is drawing histogram for ungrouped data I am clicking on histogram and I am clicking OK then here this won't be there it, it looks like this for the first time when you do it looks like this like this type of uh, box you will get in this you need to click on input range in input range you should not click on data uh, given data you should start from this 2.4 till here okay this whole data you, you are clicking for input data and for bin range you can drag from this upper class till here that means I am dragging from upper class till here. Because I have dragged from upper class which is called as label, I am going to click here label. If you do not drag from upper class boundaries, you can. Uh, if you drag from here till here, then there is no need of clicking that label. Just because I have clicked from upper class boundaries, I am clicking here labels then where I want the output suppose I want the output somewhere here okay I will click here and click that click suppose I want the output on uh, starting from here so I'm clicking that and I'm going to click here chart option then after clicking all this click on ok button okay click ok you will get a, a chart a histogram chart as well as the frequency actually these frequencies are saying from till 1.99 there is no number in this in this given data there is no number which is having numbers from 0 to 1 1.99 again 3.99 from 1.99 to 3.99, there are 13 numbers in this given data. Then from 3.99 to 5.99, there are 24 numbers in this given data. Like that, it is showing the frequency of numbers which is occurring from that number to this number. And suppose you don't want so much gap between these two uh, these bars. So you can click on the bar, right click that particular bar and click format data series when you click format data series you will get an option over here called as gap width if you minimize that gap width see the gap is reduced to zero so i am reducing it to zero and i'm closing this particular line then after that this is the bar I want it to be shown and it's showing this one. Okay. Thank you for watching my video. Please like, share and subscribe my video. Thank you.